Hello and welcome, fellow Wasteland survivors. I'm Dean, a.k.a. Nasty Bones. Thanks for joining me today for Part 19 of Fallout 4 Permadeath Challenge, where we play the game as far as we can with one life, one life only. And if we die, it's all over. You only live once anyways, right? Well, in our last video, we did quite a bit, although it didn't seem like we did. First of all, we started off going to Nuka World because I needed to resupply with some more ammo. While we are there, we walked the Trial Trail. I don't really don't know what you'd call it. But sometimes you can find legendaries while doing it. But what I was mostly interested in was trying to find some packed rifles that had mods on them for the problem solver. We don't have any mods on the problem solver and it's only doing its base damage. After that we came back to the Commonwealth and then we took a trip over to Poseidon Energy. Uh, at Poseidon Energy I was able to get the uh, Endurance bobblehead and with that we now have a stat uh, of 11 base stat of 11 for endurance and we'll be able to get a little more health as we level up now we're going to do quite a bit in today's video and i think we should start by going and saving the castle Our first legendary of the day, Rad Powered. Grants additional strength the higher your rads.
Okay, after that Mylark fight, we did level up again, so let's get these points into our perk trees. I've got two, and I'm going to put them both into Perception. Now Night Person will be unlocked. Uh, over the last several levels, I have had Intelligence at six, so that way I could do Science. But I've been having to play Thirsty. Right now I'm playing negative eight in Intelligence, being Thirsty, so that way Idiot Servant will keep procking. So what we're going to do over the next six levels, we're just going to save them. Once I got all six, I'll put four into Intellect. With the bobblehead, that'll give us 11. Then I'll put two into Night Person. That'll give us three more points, and we'll be rocking a total of 16 Intellect, which should start to make Idiot Servant proc pretty good. Okay, sweet. Another astoundingly awesome tales. Your canine companion permanently takes 10% less damage. This magazine can be found in the Institute, on the top floor, out on a balcony on a table. And uh, you can really only get this magazine once you've entered the Institute. So, if you're not going to side with them, don't forget to get it before you leave.
Okay, we're out at Libertalia trying to do the quest for Father. And from the moment that I got here, things have went shitty. First of all, the game is acting crappy. My uh, character's bouncing up and down, going all over the place. Enemies are flying everywhere. Of course, I've got a curse courser with me. So the Brotherhood of Steel are here, and they're fighting. Plus, all the enemies at Libertalia are fighting, too. It is a complete mess going on right now. So, I'm going to try to quit and save, uh, reload the game, and see if it's any better. And it actually wasn't. Until I reached the main ship, I still had these problems. Legendary on this dungeon run. Lucky Leather Right Leg. Gives us plus two in luck. Just before we reach the top of the ship, another U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Can be found on the Libertalia which is the main ship in all the little boats through this area. Okay, just before you go through the door that takes you on top of the ship, we can find this legendary shotgun. Now, I'm not even going to try to say that name, but it's on this ammo crate. It does 25% more damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. Three, five, nine, two, initialize factory reset. Authorization again, 71 Epsilon.
Well, while we were out at the Libertalia, we did level up again. And we're almost ready to level one more time. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and put this point in. I'm just showing that we have four more points to go before we reach ten in intellect. Then we're going to go get the bobblehead, which will give us eleven. We'll need two points in the night person, which will give us three points in intellect between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. And with my uh, Power Armor Helm modded with the Intelligence mod, that'll give us plus 16 intelligence. And then I can quit playing Thirsty. Okay, sweet. Another magazine tells of a Junktown jerky vendor. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Uh, I lost control of Abernathy Farms, and they asked me to go clear out Walden Pond to get realigned with them. And that's where this magazine can be found. A little farther in the dungeon, we can find another legendary weapon just laying around. Big Jim. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. I believe with that pipe wrench, we are now at seven legendary pipe wrenches. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about it for today's video. Uh, thank you for coming, hanging out with me here uh, while we play Fallout 4 and do the permadeath challenge. I do really appreciate you coming and spending your precious time with me. Also, I hope I see you on the next video. Alright everybody, thanks once again. 
And just like always, please, until next time, stay safe and peace. Bye.